Hey guys, this is going to be part one in making your own Apple wallpaper in Blender. Uh, very first part, we're going to focus on actually modeling the Apple, and second part, we'll be compositing it into a cool wallpaper. So first, we need a reference image. So just write Apple logo into the Google search engine and hit images. Now we're going to want something a little bit higher contrast than most of these, so just hit black and white. And this one right here looks really good. So. Thank you, jefflombardo.com. So we'll just use this one right here. So save it out. I've actually already got it. So let's jump into Blender. Delete our default cube and hit 7, 5 to go into top orthographic view. And N to bring up our properties menu. Click the background images and bring down the menu. Add image and open the image. So here in down, oops. Downloads, there it is. And let's open that. Okay. Shift A to add a curve circle. And we're going to scale this up a bit and just kind of bring it round. We're going to hit W and subdivide two cuts. And let's just kind of throw these on here rough for now. And we'll come back in and Clean them up in a second. Okay, let's go over to our curve properties and change this to a 2D so it'll fill everything in. Um, but then we're going to hit Z. Mostly that's just to get rid of uh, all these directional arrows. So back into 2D. Now this guy right here needs to change. Just hit V and we'll do automatic. Oh sorry, not automatic. V, free align. And we're going to grab it and just start adjusting these points in. If you're having trouble getting, oh we got to change this guy, sorry. If you're having trouble getting things to align just right, usually what the issue is is the control point itself. Because the further it is out from the center, like right here, the more that it affects the curve. So if we bring this in, it's going to affect it a little bit less. So I'm going to do a little bit of both here, bring that into the shape and bring it back towards the center of the control point. Okay, we're just going to go all the way around the apple, bringing everything in. Sometimes I like to flatten them out, like you saw I did there, just to make things a little bit easier while adjusting these control points, because I can just bring them in to the left or to the right. Okay. Almost there.
Okay, let's uh, hit Z to make sure that's looking pretty good. Okay, and that'll be good enough for now. Go ahead and hit Z again. And Shift A, let's add a, another circle. Grab it up here. We scale it in to go inside this leaf. And we're going to rotate it so those uh, control points match up to the side really well. Grab this one here, and that one there. And then these two again, hit V and switch them to free align. So zoom in a bit. Actually, grab those. Okay, and we'll tab back out, hit Z again, scale this up off the ground plane, and there it is, our own Apple logo. So in part two, we're going to be compositing this into a cool image, and uh, maybe leave there in the comments if you have maybe a request, something cool to, some scene to put it in, and we'll go from there. Thanks.